Hey, what's up guys? Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com and today we're taking a look at how to put a UV filter lens protector on your Parrot Bebop 2 drone. So this is a really simple way that you can protect the lens on your Parrot Bebop 2 and it really only takes a couple steps and you can do it for less than $10. So this is the brand of the UV filter that I'm using. This is a Fosman and I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to check this out. So basically these are intended for a GoPro Hero, like a 3 or 4, and they're made just to slip over the GoPro lens. And I've typically used it for that purpose. And then I ended up discovering that you can actually use these same UV filters to put on your Parabibop 2. And it's a good way to help protect the lens. And also it helps the image quality because it's a UV filter. So it helps filter out some of the ultraviolet light. And this is cool because it also comes with a little lens cap so you can use that to help keep the lens scratch free. And this is a 37 millimeter and I believe a 44 millimeter works as well but for today's example I'm just using a 37 millimeter so this is the one that I would recommend that I know does work. There's this little plastic ring that goes around the lens and you want to carefully just peel that off and it might seem kind of scary or kind of kind of uh, dangerous but you know, peeling that off. And then you can see, basically it's just a little plastic ring they've put that just helps keep the camera stable inside the foam nose of the drone. And I have this foam little eyebrow thing, so obviously yours won't have that. This is just to help protect the nose. So then taking the drone and the 37 millimeter filter, and you're gonna wanna just slide it right over the lens of the camera. And it's actually a really nice snug fit going in. So once you get it in there, now you'll be able to see it wedges in there perfectly. It has a nice tight fit, so it's not gonna fall out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and test the lens, the 37 millimeter lens out here outside. We'll do a test to see how well the lens stays in the Bebop 2 and also what the color looks like through the UV lens. Um, I'm gonna look straight down so you can see kind of where the perimeter of the lens does show a little bit, but that's only if you're looking straight down or straight up or you know straight left, straight right. If you're just normal vision like, like you typically are when you're flying around, then it's not gonna affect at all. So we'll, I'll show you what I mean once I'm flying. And I'm gonna be flying with my custom Wi-Fi repeater. If you wanna see how to make this, then I'll put a link up here. Here's a backflip. You can see the lens. The lens is still staying there. Let's go ahead and see some light. So here, I'll just, I'll just slowly look around so you can see what the, the lighting, it's kind of overcast day, so the picture quality, the lighting, the lighting quality might not be that great. So just giving it kind of a rotation around. Okay, so that gives you an idea. Now I'm gonna bring it over. I'm going to look down at this white fence. You can see this white fence. So I'm going to go right above the white fence. So now I'm going to look straight down. Okay, so right now I'm looking straight down on that white fence. And you can see in the picture here, there's a little bit of a black bar from where you can see the bottom of the lens. But that's again, that's looking straight down. So, you know, typically you'll be looking, you know, if not straight or a little, if not straight, then maybe a little bit down at an angle while you're flying. So again, it's not gonna affect your peripheral. Let me come down. Let me do another flip to show you how well the lens does stay in play. You can see the lens does a pretty good job of staying in place. It's 
staying in place while you're flying around, even flipping. You know, it does a pretty good job. Pretty good job of staying in place without falling out. So thanks for checking out this how-to on putting a 37 millimeter UV filter on your Bebop 2. If you have any comments, questions, or if you have any advice of something you've done to protect your lens, leave it in a comment below, I appreciate it. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel. I upload new videos about travel and backpacking gear every week. Also check out my website, jacobysjourneys.com, where I have a lot of free travel and backpacking information.